I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important concept based on Hain's definition. Find the limit, one side limit, as x approaches 0 from the right side for cos pi by x. So we are trying to find one side limit here. So when I say when x approaches, when I say when x approaches 0 from positive side, this is from the right side. Well, as you know, cos x is an even function, so from both the sides it is going to be the same limit, right? Okay. Now, the question here is, find the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side for cos pi by x. You can pause the video and then solve and look into my solution later to check. Now, the concept which we are going to use to find this one side limit is based on Hain's definition. We know that this limit does not exist. Now to prove that it does not exist, what are we going to do is we will show that there are two sequences which have the same limit but cause of those sequences, the function for those sequences does not have identical limit. Right. So that is the concept which we are going to use to solve this particular question. So we need to show that there exist two sequences x prime and x double prime such that the limit of x prime as x approaches infinity equals to the limit of x double prime when x approaches infinity which is a while the corresponding functions f of x prime and f of x double prime do not have identical limit. So this is all we have to do to show that this limit does not exist. Correct. So the idea here is to find two functions which could uh, help us solve this particular question. Right. Now if you look at the cosine function then you know n pi gives you the value when it is 0. Let me sketch one that how do we select these uh, functions is always a big issue. Right. So so cosine function is kind of like this. Right. So what you notice here is that it is always 0 for pi by 2 and it will be 1 for n pi where n is 0. Right. So that kind of gives you a hint. Now since x is in the denominator, we are choosing the functions as xn equals to 1 over 2n. Right. So, so when I flip it, it becomes as 2n pi. You get the idea, right? And the other function which I'm using is xn dash, which I'm taking is 2 over 2n plus 1. Because when I flip it with this, I get 2n plus 1 times pi by 2. So these are the two functions which I'm selecting, where the value of n is set of natural numbers. It cannot be 0 since it is in the denominator. Correct? Now, for these functions, what we know is that the limit as n approaches infinity for 1 over 2n is same as the limit as n approaches infinity for 2 over 2n plus 1 and both are 0, right? If n is very, very large, dividing by a large number will give you 0. So both these limits are same. Correct. Now what we need to figure out is the limit of our function. Now since this is like approaching to infinity, so if I replace it with something reciprocal, I'll make it positive, right? Infinity, right? So limit x approaches infinity since it is positive of f of x of n. Now f of x of n is basically limit x approaches infinity of cos of, right? So this is the function, correct? So we could write this as uh, cos of 2 pi n. x, we could write this as pi over, replacing x with 1 over 2 n, right? 1 over 2 n will give us limit x approaches infinity for cos of 2 pi n, right? 
Now for 2 pi n, we know the value for cos is always 1. So this is this limit is equal to 1. Correct? So for us, the limit for the first function is 1. Correct? Now let me shift this a bit on this side. Now let's try for the second function, which is sequence rather. So we have now the limit when n approaches infinity this should be n when n approaches because we have related f of n right xn so for the second function it should be limit of replacing x with 2 over this we get cos of n over instead of x i'll write 2 over 2n plus 1 Correct. So you could rewrite this by taking it on the top as limit n approaches infinity. So we have 2n plus 1 cos of 2n plus 1 times n by 2. Okay. And for n by 2, we know it is 0. Perfect. So we see that these two limits are different. Right? Since the two limits for the given function do not match, limit when x approaches 0 plus for cos of pi by x does not exist. Does make sense to you. So that is how we are going to prove it. Perfect. So many trigonometric functions you could find limit. Especially you could prove that the limit does not exist using Haynes definition. That is the focus of this particular video. So I'll take up one more example and I hope that will help you to understand how to prove that the limits do not exist whether it is one side or like kind of both sides perfect i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'll be great thanks for watching and all the best